I'm Danny Bervoznik, founding developer relations engineer at Kernel. Today, I'm here to demo Replace, a new capability that gives you true video recordings of what the browser actually saw. You can dynamically record portions of a browser session as needed in your workflows. To demonstrate this, we're going to run two Agentic QA tests on a pretend Shopify store. Then we're going to verify the output of the testing by viewing the kernel replays that are generated. So we're going to look at a product page and then separately look at a cart page banner that's supposed to be for a $20 off coupon for orders over $100. So let's get started with the demo. Using replays is really easy. All you have to do is start by calling replace.start, conduct whatever automations you'd like to on the browser. And then once you're done with your automations, call replace.stop. That's it. All right. So to get started, I'm going to execute the Python script. And I'm going to start our logger. I just wanted to highlight quickly that the nature of our replays videos is that they are scrollable MP4 videos that capture the entire screen and not just the browser viewport itself. Let's quickly go through the verdicts. So for the product page, it says that the verdict is fail and that the product image shows a blue long sleeve shirt while the title describes a short sleeved red t-shirt creating a clear mismatch in color and sleeve length. That is correct based on what I'm seeing with the video. So that's a good assessment by the AI agent. And on the cart page, it looks like the verdict is failure as well and that the cart displays a promotional banner offering a 40 cent coupon when you get above $100, um, not the expected $20 off coupon when you spend $100 promotion that the site is actually running. So that's also a good assessment, a uh, verdict of failure. So hopefully this is a good demonstration of the potential things you can do with replace functionality by kernel. Thank you. And I hope you can check out our blog posts for the full rundown of building this new replace functionality. And we hope you try out replace soon. Thanks.